So this is a draft fan that I made. Over that way a little bit. And as you see, it's going into uh, my offset smoker here. Um, this is yeah. a Barbie Chef. Barbie Chef. Yeah, Barbie Chef, huh, buddy? Barbie Chef, mommy. So this is a muffin fan uh, from a pellet smoker. It's actually one from Smoke Daddy, their high amperage fan. Um, it's working really well. Um, if you go look at the smoke over there and see how clear it is right now. Um, and here, let's open the firebox and see how it's doing in there. A little bit of, little bit of dust come up. Um, but yeah, so there it is, nice and hot. Um, and I just decided to make this. Um, you can see that it, these are actually just uh, door hangers. So I know that it's very unlikely that you have your pull bar on your firebox like I do, unless you have, you know, one of these offsets with that vertical section, um, like the parasol or the ranger. Um, so, and, and eventually I'm going to hopefully have a different offset as well. So I've been thinking about this a lot. And the, the thing that I've come to is magnets, you know, magnets that you can put on um, for adhesion. Now, do not get just any magnet. It will not work. And the reason is, is that heat demagnetizes magnets. So if you get um, some of these popular magnets out there that are, are pretty cheap and you, you think that you're going to make um, this and put it on your firebox, uh, it's going to work very poorly. You have to get specific magnets and specifically Elnico magnets are the ones you need. Uh, they can, they will stay magnetized up to above 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so you need this specific magnet and uh, you can see it here on Amazon. I've got a link uh, in the description below. Um, these, these fans, they don't weigh a whole, whole lot. And if you're using two, I think it's safe to get um, this 4.2 pole capacity. 4.2 pound pole capacity, you know, you add that together, it's eight pounds. And um, so it it really shouldn't be, your, your fan shouldn't be more than eight pounds. Uh, so this is the solution that I have. Um, I plan on trying it myself, but if you try it first, you know, add to the, the comments below and tell us how it worked. And um, I used some lock nuts and sort of constructed this, uh, and you know, I, I used some electrical connectors here to connect it to an old uh, computer uh, cord. And then over here, look back here, you see that I have, um, this is a light dimmer, you know, so I can turn it off, can make it go slower, or I can speed it up a little bit and kind of put it to the hottest there and then slower so that I can direct how much airflow goes into the smoker. Um, and I think I'm gonna put a few links if you wanna make your own. Some Amazon affiliate links uh, in the description. Um, if you use those links, they might help me. Might help me out, uh, it's up to you. But uh, if you wanted to do the same thing, so yeah. So when things get going, I don't usually uh, use or haven't been using this fan very much. Um, usually, just when I add, you know, some more wood, um, you know, I throw it on there, kind of leave that open, and then you know. Now I just let it get all the way caught there. There it is. And yeah, that's pretty much all I use it for after after things get going.